Hey, welcome back to Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins. We're heading into the hippo level, which is going to lead us into the next zone. This bubble is awesome. Basically, you just hold the jump button and it'll float you up as high as you want. Now again, if you feel like collecting coins and stuff, you feel more than free to take the path with all these Kirby spike enemies here. But aside from that, if you just want to get to the end, this whole jump. There's not much of a reason not to. Now I'll finally start running into some enemies, but for the most part, as long as you hover up to the top of the screen, you're not going to have anything to worry about. Yep. Not the most exciting level. I love the bubble gimmick, don't get me wrong, but when you completely defeat the purpose of going through your stage, and you want to take this top exit, by the way, not the bottom one. The bottom one won't get you where we need to go. Fire flower? Nope, back to super mushroom. Ah, it's that's it seems to be all I can get in this bonus stage. Here we are in space zone, the shortest zone in the game. Two levels. Well, three. One regular, one bonus, and the boss stage. Who this uh the boss of this zone is the only boss that is uh from another Mario game. You'll look uh, pretty familiar. But we'll save that for when we get there. Now we're obviously in space and in a spacesuit. So we got space physics. Hold jump and you can jump pretty high and pretty far. Really hitting the block underneath the cannonball. Killed the cannonball. That's awesome. Didn't even know that could happen. I learned something. Okay, that was pretty obvious what the gimmick here is. It's going to be making use of the space physics. Don't know why he can throw stars at us, but they hit the ground and basically explode slash shatter, however you want to think about it. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Try to get that. Ah, oh, yep. It's pretty... Easy to miss that jump, and I certainly don't feel like doing it again. So, continuing on. Man, the physics in these stages are just bizarre. Like, you think you got them handled, you're like, alright, okay, I got a feel for it, I know how it controls. Yeah, yeah, no you don't. Alright. Here we are at the bonus stage. Segway. Whoa, hey now, hey. No reason for that. Alright, now the easy way you can tell it's here is that um, we got the smiley Saturn right there. And as soon as I find the spot I need to hit. Or is it a, it's either off the bell or off the sledge. I just know what's next to the Saturn. Where is you? There we go. Once you find the first block, the rest is pretty much gravy. Get up there. Just don't get hit by that. This next part requires you to run and j make several jumps without losing your momentum. So be prepared for frustration. Time your jumps well. Ooh, that one felt like it was early. Okay, it wasn't. Oh, God, it hurts. Go, Mario, go. Oh my god, first try, really? Whew! That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> I love that. Star hits the moon, now the moon's all pissed off. He's like, bro, bro, do you even lift? And I'm like, yeah, moon, I lift. And he's like, alright. Another. Ah! Why am I hitting them? Look at that! Look at that! The, the star's looking at me and mocking me. I remember the. Okay, well, I hope there's something down here now, because there's no way to get out. Dump a dump a dump bum. Guess we'll just see what's over this way. Might be able to get out there. Or I can just keep going, I guess. It's right to the end. Okay, that wasn't very exciting, but alright. Alright, let's finish this one normally. 
hopefully without... Have I died yet? Yeah, this is horrible. I'm recording all this. It's now 7.06 in the morning. Recording all this at once, pretty much, and I can't even remember what's happening. Of course, I know for a fact I died once. I just don't remember if I kept it in the recording or not. Uh, you know what? I just passed the black that I knew had a power up in it. Come on, what am I thinking? Blind jumping while you're small? Probably not the best idea, but... There's Happy Saturn again. Oh, God! <laughs> this random spike! Count on me to land on random spikes. Sorry. Yeah, God. And then the cannonballs and... Pig cannonballs. Get away from me, thing. I trust none of you! I'm going to bide my time and <laughs> air walk off of a cannonball to hit the bonus bell. Bam. It's like there's a magnet in those three ups, son. Boss stage, about time. It's auto scroll level two. But it does fit in with who the final boss is. In case it's not obvious, we don't want to hit these angry stars. Oh my god. I can hit jump and jump repeatedly. I thought I kind of noticed that in uh, the other level, but I thought I was imagining things. So the bubble physics do persist. I thought so. So when the stage started, I'm like, I could have sworn I remember free flying in here, and I kind of can. I still recommend keeping low and not making it any more difficult than it has to be, but... You gotta do what you gotta do to get power-ups and stuff, because you don't want to go into the boss of Small Mario. You never want to go to a boss of Small Mario, even though most of the bosses are not incredibly difficult. Is that a puffer fish in space? Wow. Definitely think I hit that star, but I won't say anything if you won't. I don't remember how long this stage is either. I don't even remember if it has a midpoint bell. Fire flower? Coin? Boy, that was worth it. Yeah, nothing too exciting to say about this level. It's an auto-scroller and you gotta dodge a bunch of angry stars. Well, uh, you know what? If, if uh, they were all that easy to get... Oh, I don't wanna... Yeah, I want the star, but I'm like, I just know I'm gonna hit that puffer fish. That space puffer fish. Oh, good lord. How did that not shrink me? Alright, that looks about right. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. Boss time. Who is it? It's Tatanga, the boss from the original Super Mario Land. And now I don't have my own spaceship to shoot stuff at him. So now it's a little different. And I'm fighting him like a retard. Ugh. Ugh. Guess he just dodge his shots. If you don't feel comfortable, you can jump into a corner and be... Or not jump into a corner, but crouch in the left corner. And be pretty much safe. Aside from that, dodge three times. Tatanga returns with his spaceship, of course, and still has projectile attacks. But, like I said, they're not too tough to dodge. That shot that hits close to the ground will spike upwards once um, it's underneath you. So that's why sitting in the left corner keeps you safe. And yeah, that's um, that's about it for this. <laughs> I told you it was the shortest zone. <sighs> Don't really feel like. Might as well show this off since we're running pretty low on time. Ugh!
Funga. This is, you've pretty much seen all the level. It just auto scrolls for another minute or so. Basically, lots of Goombas, pair of Goombas, and question blocks. Uh, for most of the stage, it'll alternate um, between power ups and coins. So we'll go coin power up, coin power up until the very end, and then it'll be uh, all coins. I think it's three in a row at the end. And we'll get a fire flower. Da -da 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 -da. And sadly, it never gives you a carrot. This will be a coin. Islands in the back are frowning and sad facing me. This will be a fire flower. Oh no, another coin. Are we already at the end? Is it a coin? Nope, a fire flower. Either I got the pattern wrong or it's random. Oh, maybe it is random. I remember the last one being a coin last time, but... Yep, there's that. Just some minute-long scrolling section, pretty much. And I got a lot of coins. Should go spin the wheel, but... Eh. Yeah. I'm gonna do Turtle Zone next. Pumpkin Zone's gonna take a while, so... Turtle Zone... Uh, underwater Zone, it'll be... But yes, that'll be for next time. Thankfully, it's a relatively short zone, second only to Space Zone in its shortness. So I will see you next time for that one. Thanks for watching.